All right, um, St. John's coach, we'll start with you, just an opening statement, and uh, then we'll open it up for questions for you and for our student athletes. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Whitewater, excellent football team, well coached, Coach Bowles and his staff do a great job, and um, they're a tough, tough group, um, but congrats to them. We kind of figured it was going to be this kind of a game, uh, two good physical football teams, and, and uh, we talked all week, it could get down to a couple of plays here or there, and uh, it's probably what happened. And um, you know, they just made a couple more plays than we did. I, I'm so proud of our guys for uh, fighting back and never giving up and doing all the things we've talked about all year, about being gritty and, and uh, never giving up in the fight. And, and they did a great job. And I, I couldn't be more proud of these, these guys up here and their other team that's in 55, well, 195 guys that we have on our football team. Uh, they've given a lot of effort. And, um, very proud of them. Thank you. Open it up for questions. Jackson, I'll, I'll start. Um, Tom Hodgeworth from the Milwaukee paper. It looked like when you had time, you you know you were able to complete your passes, and, and you're, they never really did you know much of a job of stopping you. And you just felt like that's what that's what you were going to be able to do to them all day. Yeah, you know. You know, that was a game plan, you know, throw the ball on them, offensive line, when they, they did a great job, give me time, I can go through my reads, we got players to make plays, you know. Um, you got to punch it in the end zone, in the red zone, you know, simple as that. You got to punch it in for touchdowns. Um, I got to make some better balls, get it up over the line of scrimmage so it doesn't get batted. But, yeah, you know, it didn't get enough. Jackson, obviously, you, like you just said, a lot of time, you had a lot of time to throw. But sometimes they were bringing pressure on you and they were able to get to you. What were they doing differently? What were you seeing? Yeah, you know, hats off to their D line. They're, they're really, really talented, you know, so they just rush four guys. Sometimes they get to me, other times, you know, I think it was just getting beat, you know. Um, and they, they were really, really good defensive line. That, that's tough when they can get a rush with four guys and still drop seven into coverage. So hats off to those guys, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's such a crazy back and forth game. When you guys scored and got the two point conversion, now it's a tie. It's just four weeks left. I mean, it just kind of was up for grabs all day. It was a wild game. Yeah, um, you know, going back and forth. We know that we need to score on every possession. And what, uh, we put a, a lot of emphasis on that. So we just try to go out there and do our best and, you know, whatever happens. Jackson has made so many plays here with you. He's made so many tonight. I mean, when you come to the end here of your career, I mean, how do you, just, I mean, what, what are you feeling and thinking about right now when you think about Jackson tonight? And, you know. um, there's been no way better, certainly in our program, and, and uh, not just as a football player, but a person in, in a leadership uh, role that he takes on. Um, he's been a tremendous, tremendous representative of our university, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's hard to think of what we'll be like without him. He's been that good for us, um, and um, you know, I know Jackson will be the first one to talk about his teammates and and all that. But uh, he's been the leader of this group, and um, it's been pretty evident uh, how he carries himself and what he does to to make this team. Uh, Top four football team in the country. I just want to try and get my best. You know, it's not about me. It's never about me. Um, our offensive line is the best offensive line in the nation. They give me time to play. And then I think there's a there's a stat. Right, how many catches did last year? Zero. Zero. TJ Hodge, zero catches. Matt Moore, I think one catch. Shaq Tucker, four catches. Blake Patrick, maybe two catches last year. So that's those guys stepping up and making plays. They really like good. Um, hats off to our offense. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a wild ride last year. We've had guys that they place place they didn't look good. So that's off time. You know, I'm bummed it's over, but these, these young guys have a crazy future. And they're very, very talented. Chris, your take on their passing game. Uh, you obviously had some some success against them. What, uh, you know, what's your take? Um, they came out and did a good job. You know, we just uh, we didn't make enough plays in the secondary, mostly myself. Um, they run real basic route com combinations. Um, we knew where we were going to run. We didn't do the best job of putting ourselves in 
a position to get off the field on third down, but um, our linebackers did a great job uh, when they did drop it in, into coverage and things like that. Um, we just got beat a couple times and man to man and got to eat that. You guys were able to hold in the field goals a few times, but I mean, there were a lot of times where you started more in some, some tough situations. Uh, as a defense, just sort of how do you react to that? You kind of so the change. Things are going to change on a dime, and, and we got to be able to respond to it. And the D line and linebackers, um, and my other DBs, they did a great job of doing that, man, um, when, they, when they had to make some plays. Coach, your, your defense did a really good job of stuffing that running in. It looked like one of the main differences was the quarterback going scripted, scrambling, and running. Uh, I, I guess there's no way to plan or for anything like that. It just kind of Well, you hope you can contain the quarterback. I mean, that we go into every game with that uh, goal in mind. I, I thought maybe the biggest uh, series for them was right before halftime. We had just gone ahead. Jackson drives us down the field. We score. They have a minute. I don't know what was left, a minute 30 some maybe. And uh, they were able to get go down the field and score right before halftime. And it was a 63-yard uh, drive for them. 41 of those yards were the quarterback um, scrambling, fighting time, and, and um, using his lights to beat us. And, he did a great job. He, he uh, you know, was able to make some plays, and I thought our defense played well. Um, but you know, we gave him too many opportunities. Didn't get down, uh, get off the field enough on third down, which is a, a major thing. But you know, they gutted it out. They were put in some tough spots. Uh, Whitewater's defense is really good. I mean, uh, you know, they're athletic. They're fast. You know, I see they sacked us seven times. We've been sacked seven times. You know all year, obviously, and, and uh, they put a lot of pressure on. So, you know, we, uh, again, our guys played as well as we could have. You know, I'm sure we'd like to have a few plays back as anybody would, but um, we can't fault the effort of these guys. Coach, you slow down their run. You get into a higher scoring game and the ball's in Jackson's hands last drive. I mean, that's everything, got everything going for you except the lead. Yep, when we got the ball back there at the end uh, and we got a good uh, return on the kickup, I thought, here we go. Um, their kid made a heck of a play on that because they think Kai had the ball and their kid wrestled it away from him. You know, Jackson made, made the right read, that's the read. Uh, got it to the guy who you know, was open, their guy just made a great play and hats off to them. Jackson, you guys have made so many big plays when you come up there in that huddle, I mean, you know, you're feeling pretty confident when you guys in there because you've made some plays in those situations before. Yeah, you know, it's nothing new to us. Game on the line situation, we've had that so many times this year. Especially with that field position, I wasn't expecting that great field position. So I told the guys, hey, believe we're winning this. And I go and throw an interception on the first place, so that's on me. But that's our break. Questions for St. John's? Okay. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks.